Uh, no, I think it, it, it's inhumane to declaw cats. I think it's inhumane because it's not natural. Cats like to climb. And it's just not natural. Um, I don't think there's a problem with it. Uh, I think it'll keep them from scratching people or other cats. <laughs> Yes, I do, actually. Um, Clawing cats is like cutting off a uh, knuckle, just like from here down, uh, up, you know? So like, yes, it's very inhumane. Um, yes, however, there are some other factors involved because there's actually two separate ways that you can clear claw cats. So one of them is basically just removing the nail bed. Um, the vast minority of vets practice this, but it's actually significantly more humane, and that one can be if your cat's a medical issue, you should have the claws or something like that. You can do the claw your cat safely and humanely. Obviously, you don't have to claw your cat, you should not. But if you had to, that would be the way that you do it. However, most vets, what they do is they actually put it on the tip of their toe. So basically, be like removing the skull joints instead of just the nail muscle. This can cause arthritis, it can cause severe pain, um, it can cause the litter box anymore, they can no longer correctly distribute their waste. It's actually super messed up. So, if you have to, because they say if you, if it's ridiculous, you can probably to call your cat and not be able to keep the cat in the then if you can they call them mainly, the downtime actually isn't that much. Um, it's still not great, but there can be worse things you can do, but just clipping off the tips of their toes, that's like, it's pretty awful. You definitely should not do that. So